Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks again for coming back to another video. I appreciate you guys watching it. I appreciate you guys hitting the like button. Um, I received a couple of messages from some of you guys who watched it and said it, it helped and you know they appreciate the video. So I really appreciate that. That's that's for me, that's the point. That that's the real meaning behind why I'm putting these videos out. You know, along with it being my therapy and just trying just to get through this process. And hopefully I can help in any way that you guys get through this process because it's crazy, guys. This is this is rough. I won't even act like, you know, this is easy and, you know, be strong. And, you know, I could say all these cliche things right now. No, it's excruciating. It's 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 hard. It's it's so many. I can't even I don't even have the words to put to use to describe how much this has impacted me. Um, I wasn't going to make a video today, but, you know, I was just I couldn't even get out of bed today. You know, usually I get up early, you know, I'm out the door very early, even if, you know, I don't have to go to work or it's my day off. I'm just up. I'm out, um, you know, creating, you know, going to go train, just going to just to be productive. Like I like to just start early. You know, I could not every time the alarm went off, I just looked at the ceiling, hit the snooze button. I was like, OK, I'll get up. It, I'll get up after this one. Snooze button goes off. The alarm goes off again. I just turned it off and I just laid there. I couldn't. It was just. It just felt like I had like a weight this on me. Like I did not want, and I didn't want to move the weight off. Like I just had, you know, I just didn't want to do anything. I just was just compelled. Like, I just don't feel like doing anything. Like it's just been so much things going on in the last, you know, week, a little bit over a week. And honestly, let me take that back just over a couple of months. Like when you first learn, when I first learned about it and it's just, it's just weighing on you, weighing on you. You try not to think about it, but, you know, it keeps popping in the front of your head. You try to just be as positive as you can. But in your mind, you really know what the final outcome is going to be. You know, you don't want to show, you know, how hurt in, in your emotions to that particular loved one or just, you know, friends in general. You, you don't want to even want to hear from your friends. You don't want them to say it's going to be all right. Be strong because that does nothing. You know, so you go through all of this and, you know, it just weighs on you. It weighs on you, weighs on you, weighs on you. And then like today, for example, I was just, I'm just exhausted. I would just felt so exhausted, but I can't, I have to keep going. You know, that's what she would want me to do. And anyone who was going through it, that you know, they would want you to keep going. You got to keep living. You know, you have to now rally for them. And that's a lot of times my motivation to get back up and to go another day because I found myself like today, it was just tough just to get out of bed, you know, and if anybody who knows me, you, if you've been watching these videos, you know, kind of just following what I do, you know, I'm quick to just, we're up and out, you know, but today was just so tough, so hard, you know, yesterday I just felt like, man, any minute now the tears are gonna come pouring. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, because another thing that happens is you remember the last vision of of her. You know, I, I remember the last um, viewing of her and it was when she was in a body bag and you say your final goodbyes. And that's something that happens when the funeral home comes. They give you a moment to say your final goodbyes, but she's on what is it called, a gurney, whatever it is, the, that bed that rolls, and in a body bag. That, that was the final thought, final view, and final image I had of my mother was the only thing that I could see was her head and the whole body was just zipped up, you know, in a body bag. That was my final image. And it's just been playing a lot over and over in my head as of lately. And it's scary and it's scaring me. And I don't want that to be, you know, an image that gets replayed, but it's the most recent. You know, I try to, you do everything to block it out, think of different memories, images, just something else. And it doesn't work. You know, you just keep going back to that one image and you remember the feeling of it and how, how she felt. She was just so cold. And that's something that, stuck out to me 
is how cold she gets so fast. And that was when I finally, finally had to come to grips like this, okay, this is a new chapter now, this is it, is when I went up there, I touched her, you know, I always go up there just to like, you know, I have like, I had a little schedule to make sure, you know, she wasn't feeling as uncomfortable or any more uncomfortable than she is already. And I remember I went up there for the final time and I always just reach out just to touch her. And it was just cold, you know, just cold. Her, her forehead, her hands were just cold. And that was just a confirmation for me to sit, to know, okay, you, it's, you went home. And when the funeral home comes and picks her up and they give you that final goodbye and you see her just in that fixed position and then you touch her again and you feel that cold sensation, that's when it just hits home. And that's what's been sticking in my head and playing in my head over and over every day. And last night going into this morning, it was just really, really just intense and really amplifying in my head. And I was just, I was really losing it. And I couldn't get up today. I was just, I was just like, I can't, you know, once again, that denial kicks in, right? I was just, I can't believe it. Like, I can't believe, like, this is it. And just that image of her. And she was a superhero in my world. So to see her go from this lively, energetic, you know, rough, sweet, you know, all, just so many different things. You know, my teacher, you know, you know, she was my professor. And then to witness her deterioration until that final moment, it's like, whoa, it's so heavy. It just weighs so heavy on you. And I, I, I can't even describe like when you're just thinking about it and thinking of this person that you love so much and you care for and, you know, you always expect them to, to be there. You, you, you never expect them to just not be here and to come to grips with that and to see that person like that. You know, that's another thing. It's like, I saw it. I, I witnessed it. You know, I saw the process and how fast it happens. And that's another thing. And I, I hope, you know, we can talk about it another video or whenever it's how fast it happens, how quickly it spreads this cancer and how, once it does spread, how it affects other parts of the organs and causes all, the, all these other complications and it just puts the person through hell. So I'm gonna try to just get up right now and I just get out and just go and go train. Um, and just, you know, I have to just keep seeing out. That's my outlet, right? Other people, you know, when they grieve, they have different outlets in what they do. And, you know, for me, thankfully, like my outlet is training. Thankfully, my outlet is working out, you know, just exhausting myself as much as I can. Um, and unfortunately, it's like, you know, I'm killing myself in, in, a, in a way because I don't want, you know, I'm just hurting and I just want to like feel the pain. So yeah, that's my outlet. Other people, you know, they go through, they go to other things for their outlet. You know, thankfully this is my outlet. So I'm going to go and try to get myself together today and uh, go train and just continue the day, you know, and just everyone be safe out there and just stay focused and, you know, we have, we're going to get through this. So thanks again for watching, guys. Another video at some point. And uh, thank you for watching, as always.
talk to you guys later.